Do you ever like look at an article and it has a recipe in it and you're like, I want to try that. I usually don't. Like, I mean, sometimes I do. But unless it's actually recommended by someone I know. I'm adjusting the tripod. I normally don't at all. But you know what? I saw this recipe in the Chicago Tribune and I had to try it. <laughs> um, and it was related to Colonel Sanders' 11 herbs and spices, right? And I was like, oh, yeah. But a couple problems. I only have like breasts and now um, thighs in my house, right? And I don't fry chicken. Like I don't fry anything. I don't deep fry anything. So I'm going to oven fry um, these breasts. I'm going to cut them into strips and make chicken tenders. But another issue arose. Breast dries out a lot. Like these are kind of fatty, but dr breast dries out. Like it's a thing. It's, it's, not a, it's not a game. So I decided why don't I brine them? So right here, I have uh, about 16 cups of water. This is one of the only containers that would fit 16 cups of water and two chicken breasts. These are two fairly large breasts. They are about, sorry, I don't know if I just, um, and uh, yeah, so, and I wash those before I put them in there. So what I do is I have vinegar and a little, oh yeah, a splash of vinegar, water. I put them in a large bowl, look about the size of this and then I like rub off the kind of slime off so I have I don't have kosher salt just FYI I have pickling salt um, which the good thing is that they're almost interchangeable because they both don't have like additives or whatnot in them but since pickling salts a little smaller in terms of granules than kosher salt I use a third of a cup if this was uh kosher salt i'd use half a little bit more but i want to be cautious so the reason i just had to brine it is brining keeps the juiciness in right and i'm also keeping the i'm just uh stirring it now to dissolve what i should have done and this is what i normally do if i brine anything because i also brine um what's it called salmon i would normally uh dissolve it in a little bit of hot water and then put a bunch of cold water in which I did I just forgot to put the salt in first and I didn't want to keep rushing back and forth with the camera and water and mess up my camera so what I'm going to do is dissolve it put these in there put this lid on overnight so it's about 5 30 now so about 5 30 6 o'clock tomorrow which should be like an instant for you we will be uh dissolving this I'm sorry we will be <laughs> we'll be taking this out the brine rinsing it off Patting it dry, then I'll I'll walk you through the next steps with the um with the spice mix and the flour and everything we're gonna need to um to do that. So yeah, it's pretty clear now. I'm gonna put everything in and we'll see you right after. Okay, so quite a bit's been done. So I took the chicken out of the pot. I brined it 24 hours. A little bit more. I went to sleep. Here's the pot here. I cut them into strips. They're pretty big strips. They're big pieces of chicken. Um, <coughs> I got the spice mixture ready. Uh, I got the flour ready. It's about a cup of flour back there. Spice mixture, which is, uh, I'm sorry, the butter, which is six tablespoons of butter, and the spice mixture, which I'm going to run down for you right now. So like I said, we're doing the KFC 11 herbs and spices. So two third tablespoon, which is two teaspoons of salt, half a tablespoon of thyme, dried thyme. All these are dried. Uh, half a tablespoon of basil, half a table, um, a third of a tablespoon of oregano. So that's one teaspoon. Um, a tablespoon of celery salt, a tablespoon of ground black pepper, a tablespoon of dried mustard, four tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of garlic salt. Um, one tablespoon ground ginger and three tablespoons white pepper. So that mixture is for two cups of white flour. Since I only have one, I'm only going to put half that mixture in there. And then here I have a rimmed baking sheet with, a, um, oops, with my, uh, grate on top. I forgot what it's called. It's called something. And the reason I do that is because um, I want the chicken to cook all around. Like I want it to get crispy all around, not just on the bottom. We are going to flip it halfway through the cooking, but anyway. So this is going to be quite a long take. So, 
first we're gonna do and I use these bags you know the when you're in the girl what's it called the um oh my god what's that section called it's the uh, vegetable like the produce section and they give you like you have these plastic bags I use those those are really good for chicken so we're gonna put about half in and this makes almost a cup of seasoning so it makes probably like seven um, compacted about seven ounces of seasoning so I'm gonna put about half in a uh, little bit so since it was about maybe seven ounces I'm looking for it to be just below the because this has measurements on it which is so cool I'm looking for it to be just below four ounces a little bit more there we go now if I was if I had um because this is two really really big uh, breasts if I had like four really large breasts <laughs> four really large breasts but if I had four large breasts, what I would do instead was um, I would put the whole thing in. But also, if I run out of, um, I mean, if I run out of flour and I need another cup, I have another cup ready. And I can just put that in. So I'm not going to do them all at once. I'm going to do a couple at a time and then put them on the sheet. So I'm going to uh, move the spice mix over and all these other things I have to the side. And I'm going to get the sheet right now. The oven has been preheated to 400 degrees, and this will go on for about 20 minutes. Um, actually, about 12 minutes. I'm not gonna lie. So what we're gonna do is gonna put them uh, about 12 minutes. So we're gonna put this in the bag. You're gonna see that, of course. Shake, 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 shake. Um, put it on the mat. Brush it with the butter. Put them in the oven. Flip them all. Brush them with the butter. Another 12 minutes. So. Let me, see. Let me see how many pieces we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. About 14 pieces. That's not bad. That's a very odd number. Um, 3. Oh, it's 4. Sorry. 5, 6, 7. Put it in the bag, like I said. And shake. Ooh. It's a little harder than shaking that though. I know they make, um, I forgot what it's called. It's like a... Oh, how do I explain it? And, um, it's like a container you can shake stuff in, and then it shakes the excess flour out. And I was like, oh, that's really cool to have it uh, shake that excess flour. I also patted these dry a little bit, not a lot. I didn't go hog wild. But yeah, when you take it out, shake out that excess flour a little bit, and then put it on the rimmed baking sheet. You see that? Okay, you do see that. Perfect. I'll show you one more time. Then I'm just going to put all these on, put the other batch in, and then I'll show you how I brush them right before they go. There we go. Follow me. I put big big and small like that, so it kind of, and then a little bit of room. Make sure there's a little, see, there's a little bit of room. There's about that much room. So it has room to breathe. So we'll be back. So, chicken's done. Uh, and now, melted butter. Which is cooled a little bit. Like, I didn't want it, like, super hot anyway. Swirl it around. Bring it back over here. So you can see me working this chicken. So, yeah. I'm going to do swirl it around to get the fat, the milk fat and the oils. Just brush it. Oh, I hate when the lighting changes to yellow. One second. Let me see if I can fix that. If I shift this over, I want to do that. Nope. <clears throat> just what it is I actually saw a youtuber whose channel I follow a lot like I, I like his channel um, he is he cooks um, different things uh, and he well since he gave so I, I forgot the name of the channel damn because <laughs> uh, he doesn't post a lot but he had said that there's certain lights like clamp lights you can get and you can put them on top like where your cupboards are and his cupboards are just like I didn't, I've never seen his cupboards I've like most cooking channels you won't see their cupboards but he had um a really nice setup can you see me yeah I'm just brushing butter on top um he showed the clamp lights and he's like yeah you just got to get a regular bulb to put in them I have bulbs here so yeah I was really happy with um with his result it was really nice and yeah this place just doesn't have the 100% best lighting 
you know, well, what are you going to do? Um, so what I'm going to do to make sure these are done, because like I told you, I'm putting them on for like 20, that's how many minutes aside. I'm putting on 20, about t almost 20 minutes over a little bit more than that. Um, I'm going to test one of the larger pieces. So that would be like this piece and that piece to see if they're done. But I might put it in a little longer because I know when the video, in the <clears throat> images I saw, the woman, I think she just had way smaller chicken breasts. She had like four chicken breasts that were really tiny and they made these little tiny, tiny chicken strips. So that's not what I'm trying to do. So all of these are brushed. Can you see that better? No, you can't. It's still yellow. I don't know why. I don't know what that's about. There we go. A little bit better. For better or for worse, these are them. They have gotten their butter on there, their little butter bath. And in the oven, I might put these in for 15. I think that's what I'm going to do, be on the safe side. Um, the reason I brine them is so that in case, you know, they wouldn't dry out because they have the brine. So, about 15 minutes. Flip them 15 more minutes. Also, once I took the chicken off of this, I cleaned this off. Like, this is still wet from me scrubbing it down. I washed my hands, even though I didn't touch a lot of things. Uh, just in case, no cross contamination. While this is cooking, this will be getting washed. Um, and that also will have to be get, get washed after I brush it the last time to make sure there's no... You don't want to get sick here. Nobody wants to get sick. So, I'll be back when these are done. We're back! Okay. What I did was, I took it out of the oven. Um, one second, baby. Mommy will be right with you. I took it out of the oven. I checked the biggest pieces with my um, instant read thermometer. So that was this piece, that piece, that piece, uh, that piece over there. All the like, I just checked about four or so pieces and they were all good. Um, normally, one second, in one second I'm filming. Normally what I do is I will um, test it as soon as it comes out the oven or show you as soon as it comes out the oven. I let it cool down because I want to be able to taste it immediately. So this has been out the oven for about five minutes. So I did 15 minutes, flip them, butter them, 15 minutes, and now we are going to taste one. I'm going to get the smallest one for two reasons. One, it'll probably have been cooled by now, uh, and two, um, because I want to see if the brine actually kept it juicy because, you know, it did get a lot, a lot of heat. Actually, this one probably got more heat on the edge. This one over here on the edge, which you don't really see that much. Um, and yeah, they look really good. They don't, I feel like they don't have a lot of crunch to them, but that's fine. The whole reason we're just trying to see is if it tastes similar to the KFC recipe. So let's taste that. Mmm. Mmm. Shit. Yeah, it do. Yeah, it do. Mmm. And it's still juicy. Oh, you don't even know. Oh. <laughs> it's good. Is it that little bit of... This is it. Uh huh. Mm. Oh, Torres, you done stumbled on a gold mine. This is it, y'all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really good. I've eaten about it. It's still hot. Like it's. I mean, it was only five minutes, right? Um, and this, these breasts reach an internal temp of about 170. And normally, um, breasts are supposed to be 150. After that, they start to dry out. But nah. Huh? Brining them was a good idea, and I feared it would make it too salty. It did not make it too salty. Perfect for salt. Yeah. Mm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I know um, in the article, they put a little bit of accent, which is uh, MSG. Um, and the store actually does use MSG. It is not illegal in the United States. Please know that if you have an MSG allergy. I didn't. It tastes like it. I'm very happy. Um, so I have another. I have an. I have another one of these. I've got more breasts in the um, in the freezer. So I will definitely be making this again. So yeah, glad you could stay with me on this journey, and I'll see you in the next video.